In this video, we're going to cover how to create a win-loss chart in Google Sheets. So you can see here in this example, we have a data set of daily calls made by a customer service rep for each day of the week. And over here in column B, we have a daily call goal that goes up to each week. And what we want to do is reflect a win-loss chart like the one over here that reflects whether or not this daily goal was exceeded or the customer service rep did not meet the daily call goal as reflected with this negative red bar here for Wednesday where the customer service rep was too below the daily goal. So we're gonna use the sparkline function to insert a win-loss chart. And when you're doing that, the win-loss chart requires positive and negative inputs in order to reflect positive and negative outputs. As you can see here, we currently only have positive numbers in our data set. So if we were to use these numbers here, we would have nothing but green bars because they're all positive inputs. So what we need to do is create an array that reflects the difference between our actual calls made versus the daily call goal. So we'll get started here. We're gonna insert the sparkline function. Now our first input is the data we want to reflect in our win-loss chart. And what we want to reflect is the difference, the amount that was either exceeded of the actual versus the daily goal or the amount below the daily goal. And in order to do this, we need to enclose this first input in curly brackets. Normally you would not need to do that, but curly brackets can handle arrays. So that's what we need to do in this example. So we're going to take the difference between Monday's actual minus our daily call goal for the week. And we're going to do the same thing for each day of the week. So now we've created an array of positive and negative values for our win-loss chart. Now the next input is where we actually specify the chart type we want and elements that are specific to that chart type. So the default value for the sparkline function is a line chart. If you don't specify a chart type, it will reflect a line chart, but we want a win-loss chart so we need to specify that in this second input. So this is enclosed in curly brackets. And we start by stating chart type and then a comma. And we want a win loss chart. We defined the chart type and now we want another element. So we need to separate this next element by a semicolon. And what I wanna do is reflect a horizontal bar in the middle of the cell to separate the positives from the negatives. So I'm going to state that I want to see an axis and this is a true false input. By default, it is false. So we want to reflect true. So we'll close out our curly bracket and parentheses and see how this looks. So you can see Anytime the sales goal was exceeded in Monday, Tuesday, we have bars above our horizontal axis. On Wednesday, the rep was two below the daily goal. So we have a bar below the horizontal axis. On Friday, it was equal to the daily goal. So we have neither. We can add additional features to this chart. Maybe we wanna change the color of the bars so if I hit F2 to go back into our sparkline function, add another semicolon, and then we can define the color of the bars. This will change all the bars. We'll use green. So you can 
can see that changed all the bars to green. But what I'd also like to do is reflect any bars that reflect negative values as red. So we'll go back into our function. We'll state negative colors and reflect that as red. I'd also like to change the access color to black to make it show up a little more. So I can define the access color change that to black. So that looks a little better. I can also change the background color on this column to yellow to make it show up a little better. So you can see this win-loss chart now tells end users quickly and effectively whether or not daily goals were met. And you can see down here towards the bottom this customer service rep had big problems. Most of the days the goal was not met. So maybe the goal was too high or there were other factors that caused this. The bottom line is it quickly tells end users what they need to know. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.